In this screencast, we're going to learn how to configure and use the mini toolbar on the Find and Run robot window. So let's hit the break key to bring up the far window. And the toolbar area I'm talking about is right here. It always has these two buttons on it. One is for the options. We've seen that before. The other is a menu that lets you choose from help uh, to visit the website, check for updates, and to enter a new license key. But actually, what most people don't know is you can actually put your own buttons up there. And you can see if I move the cursor over here, I can actually drag to give myself some more space. I'm just going to give myself a little space here. I can right click and say configure toolbar, but there's a little bit of an easier way. Let's say we do our now familiar search. If you've been watching the videos and type notepad as I type. Notepad, okay, doesn't matter. I'm going to click the notepad uh, uh, item and I'm going to drag it up into the toolbar. And you can see there it is, it got added to the left. And if we now close far and bring it back up, well, what do you know? It's remembered, it's right there. We can click it to launch an instance of Notepad. So that's, I mean, obviously there are some good launch bar tools out there that uh, for advanced use, but if you ever want to have a couple of items up here that you use often that you want to uh, be reminded of, you can add items to your toolbar. Now uh, we can go a, a little bit further there, and we can right-click and say configure toolbar. Well, there's uh, the item we added. Let's click edit and we can see it's added notepad and we can see also that we've got space for parameters and if we click this macros button we see that we can easily add the file parameter let's click OK and OK to this and now what happens if we do for example let's search for readme okay we brought up some readme files I'm going to click one and then click the notepad icon and we can see it's actually opened up the selected file in notepad. We'll see actually in the f in future videos different ways to uh, run operations actions on on found files but here's a quick one and uh, let me show you actually something a bit more um, complicated for advanced users if you configure the toolbar add a new item and now we're going to browse for find and run robot so we're going to click we're going to make a button to actually launch find and run robot um, and then we're going to add something we're going to add a search we're going to add some parameters to the command line and we're going to tell it to search for um, let's say games okay now and now let's give ourselves a little bit more space. So what we've done now is we've created a notepad button on the toolbar that will open whatever sele whatever selection we make in notepad. And we've clicked it, we've created another button that will launch find and run robot and pass it the parameter to search for games um, to set the search field to games. Now FAR is actually smart enough to know that when you create such an um, item it shouldn't uh, create a new instance of the program but it should just launch the program itself uh, uh, launch the search it's inside itself without starting a new instance so let's just see if that works I'm going to click on the icon and you can see what's happened it's set the search field to what we told it games so if you've got some common searches here that you want to trigger with a button that's one one way to do it and that'll do it for um, for this screencast